This is where we're going to look at Western Kentucky and a few concepts they ran out of this double squeeze set. It's just two by two set. They squeeze in both their outside and inside receiver, make it into a condensed formation right there. We'll talk about a few concepts and a few different things that we like to do as well. First concept we're going to talk about is just your typical smash. And the way that you really want to do it out of this condensed set, and a lot of times they have two by two anyway, is obviously you're going to have some kind of a corner. You're going to have an out. Something to high low the corner right there. Obviously, right here with a condensed set, you're gonna have to run that corner route. Can't slot fade, can't do all that stuff. You gotta run that corner, get to that back pylon right here in the tight red zone, starting the goal line. And typically, what you have to the back side, you can either mirror this route with a with a corner and with an out, or uh, do what Western Kentucky does right here. They end up running a corner post, or it might just have been a straight post. It almost looks like he just runs a bang eight to that second level, and then you got an out right there. So the way that we would do it, as far as the progression is we get our eyes over here to the front side with just your typical smash. We go one to the out, especially at this condensed set, two to the corner, see if we can out leverage it. And then right here, you've got that post uh, or corner post, however you want to run it. And you've got that out right there to the back side. So you just go one, two, three, and then it'd be very rare that we'd ever get back to this fourth look back here. Never really want to throw late to the flat, especially if you can't just see everything. A lot of times we're going to scramble or hopefully our, our check down's getting out and working there to the middle of the field. But uh, right here we'll take a look. This is a clip here in the first game is UT Martin. And right here, as you can see, good quick release. One thing that you're going to want to see right here is the slot receiver. Both these slots over here, they make sure they slide in behind these guys. They slow down just a little bit. Let the guy that's over here running the post, over here running that corner, get in front of them. So that they, when they break that out, they've got some distance away from them. And right here, if you're going through the progression like we would, uh, you got the out here. And you can see the corner comes down on it, outside backers down on it. Right here is basically a one high look from UT Martin, sitting in the middle of the field. They try to zone this off. And what you see right here, whenever you look to the out, you got two guys there. This corner's right there. You got the safety on top of it. You just know there's a big void there for that corner post or bang eight. We'll kind of look at this route. This looks like he's running straight at it. It stems at him, puts his foot in the ground, circles around this outside linebacker into that window. Great timing right here by the quarterback, throwing it through windows, not over backers. Uh, so right there, it almost looks like his eyes are just down the middle, sees his safety work that direction. He knows that we're coming over here to that post route. Throws it through the window. Great adjustment right there. Stops his body, makes the catch right there on that back hip. So. Again, just a smash route here out of a double squeeze look, and they're able to complete it right here in the tight red zone. Look out corner, don't like it. Now we're coming back to that post. Good timing right there through windows. Good catch right there by the receiver. In the last clip, we saw a smash with a corner post there towards the middle of the field right here. Uh, it's a, just a little bit different. Right here, you can see they're still in this condensed set, and they're running their smash. So right here, they have the outside receiver running the out, inside receiver running the corner. And they actually have the outside receiver They're getting a little bit of a rub right here. He's coming almost like on a climb. It looks like he's releasing vertical. May curl that up. Maybe an option there for the post as well. So right here, this is more like a Y cross. Right here out of this double squeeze set. Again, you got this smash. You got an out route. You got a corner. With that corner that far off, if we can take that out, we want to take that and never pass up a completion. And that's what they do right there. They take that completion on a first and 10 right here against Rice. So Right there, obviously the progression would be one, looking for that flat. So that corner's down now, he goes corner. There's an outside backer and a safety chasing. Now we got this climb coming across, replacing this middle linebacker. And if you don't like that, you may have this curl, you may have a post by this receiver going over the top right there. But again, don't pass up an open receiver. If he breaks out, we got space there to the corner, take your completion. And again, right there, you're gonna get a decent gain. It's only about five, but all those things considered, Corner's got to come make a tackle. It's first and 10. Now we're in second and, and very manageable. Able, and everything's able to go there in the playbook and you can get into that tempo. Here's another look of this same Y cross concept out of this condensed set. So again, we got out, we got a corner. They're going to switch this release. He's going vertical, he curls up and he's coming over here to that cross. So as we play it, you can see that catches it. His eyes go right there. Does he like the out? Nah, not really. Say that backer's driving down on it. You got a corner right there. That corner's pretty far off here's the climb he's progressed all the way to the climb he sees this guy squeezing there's the backer right there and as you roll it back we'll look at this corner so right there he's the slot receiver he goes vertical he's probably going to want to stem out just a little bit and right there once he gets to about 10 he starts shutting down curling through this window you can see 
there's the inside backer, there's the outside backer. So he's just working through that window. Right here, running back probably has a little bit of a check swing. Doesn't really get out. Everything's getting condensed right here. Obviously, really good D-line. Zap's able to step through it, throw through the window again. Not throwing over backers, throwing through the window on that curl right on his chest. Easy completion right there for West Kentucky off this wide cross. And look at the full thing one more time again. Catching it. Eyes going to the smash. Don't like the out. Don't like the corner. Don't like the climb. There's the curl. Drill it through the window. Good completion. There's another play here from West Kentucky. This double squeeze set. They run this concept a lot. They'll do that out of two back sets. They'll do that out of doubles, trips. They'll do all kinds of different things. And, and what it really is, is they end up getting a little bit of a fly motion here. Faking the jet sweep from this receiver. He's coming across, runs like a dig, could be kind of a post right there trying to hold those safeties. You got a wide wheel from this condensed set. A lot of times they're not condensed. But I, I, this real interesting look right here from this condensed set. So he's wheeling right there, trying to widen everything. Running back goes down the seam. West Kentucky runs more four verticals and out of different ways and out of different sets with switches and different things. Uh, more than anybody that I've ever seen. And then right here, faking the jet sweep. Now he's the check down right here. So as this is played, you can see there's the, kind of the cross release right there. He's trying to get wide. This guy right here is getting wide, trying to stretch everything. And you can see this running back. As soon as that ball snapped, he's trying to get down that seam. Uh, so right there, quarterback gets a little bit of a fake. He's eyeballing right there just a little bit. He's, he knows it's going to be dead. There's a lot of bodies there. With him widening, that backer just widens out. Looks like the corner's there. This outside linebacker, instead of chasing and doing all this, he just kind of sits there in that seam. Now he's sinking underneath that. So... Tons of bodies here for Army. Obviously, a really good defense. Tons of bodies there. It's all dead, and the timing of it's not quite right as far as being able to get outside. I can't see if there's a corner over the top of it as well or not. But uh, right here, everybody's getting a lot of depth. Everybody's pretty much covered up. Great job not being stingy and trying to take that shot the whole time. So right there, he just checks it down and gets it out there to the receiver that came in fly motion. And everybody cleared out because everybody was going vertical. So you had three verticals basically. There's kind of that dig. Now, whenever you don't like it, check it down right here. Give your guy just the opportunity. Again, the defense has to play it perfect, go through your progression, and get a completion. Now we're getting a tempo still. So right there, able to get a completion second and five. Get that first down. Don't force it down the field and get an incompletion. Keep the ball moving downfield. And now you're able to go quickly as soon as this thing uh, gets set. I'm sure they'll have a play and run it within the next about 10, 15 seconds. I have this clip labeled as spacing concept. Lots of teams have been running this. I know I've seen Lane Kiffin and, and those guys run this out as a condensed set as well. But all it really is is the old spacing, just doing it out of different sets. So right here, you're just going to turn out, work in space. He's running the arrow. So right there, you just got basically an arrow that's stretching the flat, and you're just high low on that guy as long as his backer doesn't just fly out to it. If that backer does fly out to it, then you've got your spacing working over here. He's working there, he's there, and he's going out there to the flat. So really... The progression is just going all the way across the field. One, two, three, four, five. Just working the entire field here, working underneath coverage. And, and the reason being, lots of guys playing off right here. Looks like a little bit of cover three. All right, quarterback catches it, stretches the field right there. There's the out. He's working that space. Nice, easy completion on his body. As you can see here, if this backer would have been flying out to it, had that covered up, now we go here. If that backer's there, and now you've got this spot right here. If that guy's guarding it right there, now you flip it out there to the flats, make these corners come down and play. But they're able to take the completion on the second progression here, on the spacing concept that a lot of teams have been running. Not so much with the back getting out. I know they've just been running that uh, inside out on that linebacker, and that's what they do right here. Never got to the back side of this progression.